G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jaboodle, and welcome back to a very raining and thunderclappy morning in 7 Days to Die, Fists Only 2. It is a little dreary outside, but you know what, it may be raining on my parade, but that's good for my plants outside, hopefully they're growing up nice and big and frothy out there in the hops. But before I head out today, I do have some big plans for today to go and get the treasure quest I was talking about yesterday. But before I head out, I was scoping out some of the armor that I currently have. I picked up obviously the steel boots the other day. I've got some tier 6 heavy boots as well. And I've been rolling with the tier 4 padded boots. And I need to make a change. Even before I, I haven't found the book, the urban combat book that gives me no slowdown in combat, which I desperately need if I'm doing this, but I gotta protect myself a bit better. And I was gonna go straight to the steel boots, but the difference isn't really that much. Not a whole lot on the ratings and stuff like that. And the tier six scrap boots have all the extra mod slots compared to just the one that the steelies had. So I think going with the scrap boots is the right call. Give me both of you out of that one and I'll whack you into here. That one and that one. Fully kitted out. I'll set the die actually. Gotta make sure make sure my ensemble is still absolutely on point. You, on me toesies. And it's gonna be the same kind of thing with my gloves. Tier 6 scrap gloves, the difference to the tier 3 iron gloves I got, basically negligible, but all the extra mod slots. So I'll take you, whack your enemy new gauntlets, get some extra mods in there as well, and really set myself up, hopefully, for success. There wasn't actually, after all that, any extra mods to put into my armor. All the mods that I could have had, I've sold in various stages. So instead, I was going to jump on my bike and ride off through the, sun the thunderstorm, even, to go and get the treasure quest. There's a couple of them down there, right next to each other. I've got my dynamite. I've got my time charges. I've also got the mods that to go into my motorcycle. Hold on a second. That one and that one. There you go. And then carry on our happy little way. I'm going to get both the treasures and then pop the next treasure quest. I don't know where it's going to spawn it. It might spawn it back up this way, which would be the dream. That would be very bloody lucky, though. And so far, my luck has never been that good. Circle should be up j just about here. But hang on. Move my bike just a little bit further away. My frame rate is ass because something out of here does not like it, but that's all right. Okay. I'm going to do the thing that people in the comments have been saying I should do for a hot minute. Can I just quickly go dig a little bit of a ditch? Go, how many of these do I need, actually? I'm working with explosives and I'm a galam. Clearly not a man who should be handling any sort of explosive potential. Put a couple of you into them. Light the fuse. Drop that into the hole and run the dickens away. Oh, jeez, the fuses do not last long at all. That did way more damage than I wanted it to. Has, like, the circle hasn't come in at all. And the treasure chest could have potentially been exploded, though I bloody hope not. Um, I'm not convinced that was the best way to do that, you know? I don't think that was the right call. Can I find the box somewhere around here then? Like, yeah, the circle didn't even come in at all. It's just, it's still completely full. That sucks. The circle's starting to come in now because I've gone the old-fashioned route of actually digging out the blocks and not just exploding into high heaven. It's still coming in. Oh, this. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, coming in over this way. That's good for me. Bomb, get you down. Oh, mate, it's very much distracted, so that's all good. I'm gonna keep on digging out this way then. So, why didn't the circle come in if I broke all the blocks, though? I would have thought that doing that much damage to the block. Oh, g'day, champion. Doing that much damage to all the blocks in the circle would have, like, basically brought it into a nub essentially immediately, but. Didn't really work out that way, and I am disappointed. There's one. Boop, boop, boop. Here's the second. Chuck it on and give myself a little bit of distance. We're all fine. No one's coming over. Got my loot and gogs on. What have you got for me? Three and a half grand. Some extra gubbins. Scrap you. Take that. All right. Not too bad. Can I read you now? Yeah, I can, Steve-o. Where are you sending me now? Oh, further away. I was like, hang on a second. Is it that close? But no, it's further down in town. All right, never mind then. Let's go try the other one. Other treasure should be just about here somewhere. Show me the golden ring of love. There you are. Nice. Park my bike further away. So was my issue there? Maybe I put too much TNT down at once. Let's just go like one at a time then. Oh, that's a, not a long throw. Throw it like you mean it next time, please. I still didn't bring the circle in. I'll try it again over that way. Just put it into the divot and watch it go boom. It's really... 
it's just not working. It's just not doing what, it, what was advertised. Maybe, maybe potentially the comments were wrong, but the comments are never wrong. But this just isn't working. This isn't sizzling me sausage at all. Never mind. Going the old school way. Really hope my auger lasts enough to get me to the treasure. Circle's still coming. Keep on going. Keep on going. Just break. No. Break all the blocks you could to get it done. Shit. Okay. Well, I might just have to TNT the rest of it and pray to God I don't break the treasure quest. Bonk. Well, get rid of you. I brought all the dynamite here for a reason. May as well make the most of it. In you go. I'm not going to. I'm not going to double up. I'm not gonna double up on the bombs. That's gonna absolutely cost me more than I'm willing to spend. Go on this side, drop you in, give a bit of distance. Circle's not coming in any further. Still don't see any sign of it though. Clay salt. Yep, sure. I'll take all of that. Got any stones for me too? Nope, just clay. Uh, I guess just like try and oh god, try and excavate um, as much in the circle as I can. I'm trying to think of my feet here. It's not going well for me. It's definitely not my idea of a good time. Oh, well, there you go. I, I did manage to blow up enough of the planet that I found the valuables I was looking for. Uh, you, I've still got plenty of bomb charges. That's good. One on the left. We'll go one on the right. So, boop, 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 and on. Nice. Okay, so I think I think dynamite was uh, not the right call for this. I think I need to reevaluate that. And by that, I mean put it in the box and never touch it again. Scrap you, scrap you. Seven grand. Thank you very much. And we've done all of that. It's now 10 past 6, so Jenny Girl's just opened up. That's a good way to spend the morning. The last couple of days, I've been going out on my own and making my own adventure like I'm reading a Goosebumps book. But I think I need to actually do some more jobs for Jen. I think my best chance of getting the Knuckles is as a reward for a quest that I do for her. I think tier 4s have a reasonable chance of giving me that. Like, even if it's like a tier... Oh, shit, sorry. Like, a tier 3 or 4 steel Knuck is just such a big improvement on what the Iron Knuckles are doing. I'm more than happy to sacrifice both my time and effort and, well, my potential relationship status by doing all the jobs for you. Take you, take the frothy. Nothing else for me. That's fine and dandy. Jenny girl, how are Hello, you? Traveler. Hello, what Jenny girl. What jobs do you have for me this time? Fetch and clear to the southwest. We always need someone to handle the tough job. At a restaurant. Oh, thank goodness. I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I said I was going to do it, Jen, and I'll follow through with it. I'm not stoked about it, but hopefully the restaurant's okay. I mean, who am I kidding? Of course I'm going to go there. Jenny girl just asked me to a restaurant. I have a pretty good feeling she's going to stand me up and I'll be there eating dinner alone or with a bunch of people that I wasn't really expecting to. Got no leftover gas in you, but that's okay. That's fine. Anytime Jenny Girl sends you to an eatery, you always accept and just hope for the best outcome. I've got my hair done and I've done my best effort to grow a wonderful mustache for but at least I tried to go to my date with Jen. Oh, that's a very bright sign. This looks like the joint. Just park up my bike in a responsible spot. Like you, away from the door. So, you know, after you have your lovely meal when you had a couple of glasses of wine, or well, I have it because I'm driving, but she has, you get to hold arm in arm further across the car park. It's all about tactics. The longer time you can spend together, the better chance you have of me, her, of me, her, of her giving up mustache man and coming back to me instead. Piss off, please. There's only one bloke allowed here, and that's me. Give the marker a tickle. Bonk. There you go. I'm going to save my frothies for when I think I need it. From memory, there's a couple of places in this restaurant that's actually a really bad time. Right, back outside. Chuck Sammy down in case anyone's coming for me, of which there should be... Yeah, a couple. Is that a feral right off the bat? Looks like it. Sammy. Sammy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're like a guard in freaking Metal Gear Solid. Oh, sorry, Sammy. Pat, pat, pat. A guard in Metal Gear Solid. Like, huh? I'm looking over this way and all of my other senses are turned off. He ran through you and you did nothing. Come on, Sammy. You gotta do better than that, lad. There's a big kitchen out here. Oh, and someone's foot. I'm just going to chuck down Sammy, you know what, on this side of the door. Seems to do better at a choke point than anything else and start waking everybody up that I can. Sammy, save me. Oh, Sammy, love your work. Oh, there's another one coming. That's fine. I'll be patient. Oh, wait. Oh, see, look. See, I gave it a right old ripping and now Sammy's actually doing the job. Yes, love it, Sammy. Look at you actually pulling your weight for a change when you do decide to help me. You're such a welcome friend. Pat, pat, pat. Oh, here we go. We've made it into the main dining area. Oh, are you the receptionist? Uh, yes, I believe there's a booking under Jen. If you could just look that up for me, that would be very wonderful. 
We weren't supposed to hop the fence to come and join us. Oh, wait, are you the receptionist? Uh, yes. Table for two. It was never going to work, was it? Never going to work. I've gone to the co check guy first, and that was probably the start of my problems. All right, I need some liquid courage. Jen, are you here? I'm here and ready for our dates. No, she's left me. She's left... Oh, my God. She's left me, and not only that, she's lured me into a death trap again. Jen, you've got to stop doing this, and I've got to stop falling for it. Every time she sends me somewhere, it's because she wants to hurt my feelings or hurt my body. Oh, God. Get there, get there, that, oh, jeez, all right, well, that's one way to end a date, I suppose, head down, ass up, and she's definitely showing all of the goods, that was a view I wasn't expecting, maybe Jen is looking out for me in the end of the day, all right, fair enough then, that was, uh, it's taken a turn, Loz is pretty upset by the looks of things that she missed out on the party, well, it definitely was a party with all the things on the show, Somehow, like, do you guys remember the old stripper titties skin that she used to be? The reason she's called stripper titties, where she was very much topless and on display. That was the loudest noise ever. Somehow, by giving stripper titties more clothes, they've made her more exposed. I don't know how they've managed to do it, but there's definitely a lot more on display now than there used to be. That is absolutely saying something. I see the feetsies of a poop up. Hold on. Wait, like, oh, there was. Oh, there's an extra one. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, God, that scared the dickens out of me. Blew two girls' minds in the bathroom. Look at me go. Look at the power of the frothy. Making a man out of me if it kills me twice. Anyone in here? No. Just you. Oh, you're a feral. You're a feral. No. Damn it. Get your ghoul fight, please. It's so bleeding tough. The, the iron knuckles just aren't doing it anymore. Unless I get that insta decap, they're just not doing good. I can't quite reach down and get you there, buddy boy. I don't have the go-go gadget extender arms that you do. Oh, look, there's the courier satchel and the zombie guarding it. Oh, that's a feral. Hold on. Hold on. So many power swings to the noggin. He still doesn't go down quickly. Take you. Half the job done. Listen, won't forget it this time around. So what's left? Just the rest of the clear zombies? Okay. Okay, I can do that. Where's all the pelicans? There's one. Come on, squawk your way over here, please. I got some hot chips. Sit you. And sit you. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. And sit you too. There we go. There we go. I've got to charge into battle because getting that, like, power attack thing where they go ghoul. Oh, damn it. Where they go ghoulified if I run into them. That's really mm, my bread and butter. It's been, oh, I got an abrasion. Damn it. Damn it. Should have put Sammy down. Should have run away a bit further. Did it dumb and paid the price. There's the lantern. That's the way I have to go down. But there's also this cheeky deeky little like vents over here with a ladder. Which I think goes down to like a little office with a shamway box. I think so. I don't need you. I'll take that. Oh, hey, but uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Like lag, lag sparks are bad. Please don't do that to me when I've got a feral bearing down on me. Just you. Okay, I think it's just the one. That's okay. Oh, that's absolutely okay. The charge and power attack always gets it done. Nice. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what's waiting for me. Just a safe and a shamway box. My memory did actually serve me well. That's a welcome change. I'll take you, and I'll take you as well for extra goodness when I have to, um... Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to reload my auger. Idiot. When I have to make myself some more food, also learning this later, dog, uh, the dog food will come in handy. I'm nervous. I hate being in this POI. There's so many ways the zombies can get to me. I never feel secured. There's the zeros. Lovely, lovely. Looting gogs on. And customized fittings mod. And actually, you can go into there. Plenty of space for mods. Now I've upgraded the tier six. Lovely. Although, so I upgraded my armor. And I've immediately got myself into a whole lot of trouble. I haven't had an injury in a fair while. But I slap on better armor. And you betcha, immediately injured. I knew it was a bad idea. I knew it was a bloody bad idea. But anyway, no time to think about that now. Oh, let's... Oh, yeah, okay. I do remember this. You, quickly pop open that door up there so I do have an escape rate if I need it. Crouch down. Sammy, I'm going to chuck you right here, buddy, and you and me are going to see this through. Frothy in. Don't have anything else I can put into me, actually. I didn't bring any fort bites nor really anything else. That's fine. Pat, pat, pat. Sammy, I'll see you in a second. Wake everybody up. Everybody up. Yep, there's a couple of them. Oh, wrecked his face immediately. And then punched the counter way through. Sammy, you take left. I've got right. Or just let the left through as well. All right, you take them. I'll get the ones that make it through. There's so many of them. So many of them. Sit down. 
Sit down. I don't think that guy's dead, but I'll come back to him in a moment. That guy's now definitely dead. So are you. So are you. Oh, there's a rad. There's a rad. Sammy, need to pop you down this way instead. Hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Like that. Get my axe out and quickly pop you. Nice, Sammy. Nice, Sammy. Love your fucking work, Sammy boy. Now he's like that little ghoul fight. I can finish him off. Oh, lad. Absolute pearl of a time. Sammy boy's got my back in what I didn't think he would. That's gone exceptionally well. Oh, but it's not over yet. Okay, now it's over. Job done. Everyone's dead. Sammy, you can come back with me. I did all of that with the wrong goggles on, but I do not care. My reward is my life, not the fact I got some more levels to spend. But do I have? I do not. I'm not even really close to it either. It's a long way to go before the next level up. And look at all the loot we've got, lads. Look at all of our rewards. So good. I don't like the hardened chest. I'm just going to pop open all the other ones instead. A savage country and two cracker books. Don't mind if I do. What's in this one? Sam Chowder recipe. I can sell you, but I've already got the other one. Scrap that one. Do I need anything else in here? Not really, especially. I'll just drink you now to free up a space. Scrap you. Mm, I'm a little bit hungry, but whatever, you can just piss off. Bookstore box. What have you got? Bicycle chassis schematic. Thank you, but already had it. Scrap you for bow parts. Scrap you. Take that. Not great loot, actually. Learning elixir, not especially terrible. I can make my own, but thank you anyway. Take all of you and try and pop my way into the hardened chest. That, um, that's a bit dismal, if I'm being honest. I wasn't expecting much, but even so, even as low as my expectations were, you still somehow found a way to undercut them. And I still can't get into the hardened chest either. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, there we go. I tap my words back. I am into the hardened chest. What have you got? Tier four knuckles, not going to be as good as what I currently have, but thank you anyway. A ratchet schematic and hmm, yeah, no, I, I I don't think that was worth it. What's the loot stage in here? Fucking dog shit. No wonder it's terrible loot. Hey, buddy, I know you're out here for a long time waiting to meet me, but unfortunately, I'm not in the mood for it right now. That was a lot of hard yakka for not a lot of reward, but I suppose the reward I was going for was what Jen's gonna give me when I get back home. The long walk across the car park hasn't quite panned out how I thought either, because I do not have any Jen on my arm. Well, let's go and have a chat to her. Let's go and have a chat to her and see what she has to say for herself. She stood me up again. I gotta stop believing her. G'day, Jenny girl. It was a bit of hard yak, and I definitely both bled and worked for whatever you're gonna give me. So please make it worth my time. Did I check your vendor this morning? I did. Still nothing fun. Jailbreakers are kind of tense, but not really. Meds, drugs, booze. I've got... Meds, drugs, and boobs. The ultimate dream team that is Trader Jen. Good work. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. All right, so a machete or a military helmet. The machete's weirdly worth more? But I'm currently rolling. Uh, I think I still have a light armor helmet like the football helmet, and that's going to be better than that. Plus, it's got more mod slots, which is kind of how I'm basing most of my decisions. And clearly, clearly, fucking clearly, the heavy armor isn't doing an awful lot for me right now. In fairness, haven't specced into it, but that is just a future Josh problem, I guess. I'll take you... Do you have any other jobs I can do? West or east? Oh, east is, is back out. Oh, it's another dudes. school. Yeah, don't want to go to a school again. I was there just the you other day. You're any other jobs. And now, are they both schools? Get their hands dirty. Yeah, I checked them both. They're both schools. All right, fair enough then. I'm fucking absolutely not doing a restore power quest. Absolutely not doing that one. And nothing else tempting. Jen, you're just, you're just an utter disappointment today. You're really letting me down. I thought you were better than that. I was going to drop off all my stuff back at home. It's half past one. Oh, and actually, while I'm here, yeah, I did get some oil shale. I am going to need to make myself some extra petrol. Seven minutes on you. That's fine. That'll give me about 5,000 gas. That's all fine. Right. Yeah, I was right. Okay, that was a good trade. I'll take you and... Oh, actually, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I need to go and put some shit away first. And I'll free up my inventory before I start sorting out my armor. The tier 5 military helmet's going to have another mod slot available. So what can I chuck in there? I've got a couple of hat mods to change the aesthetic of it. But that's not really what I'm looking for. Anything that's actually going to be usable and, like, handy for me. Maybe in some of the tier 6s I've got. Like, you. Ball cap mod. No, I've already got the helmet light mod. Uh, anyone got any actual usable armor mods in here somewhere? No. 
All right, I guess I sold them along the trip then. Never. Ooh, that'll do me. That'll do me. It's not much, but it's Sutton. You give me that. Thank you. You can go back into them. And I'll whack you onto my new you beauty helmet. That one. You modify. Bang, 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 bang. Nice, Gary. Bowling, Shane. I've got a fair bit of time left in the day. So I think before I go... It's time. It's time. I know what I need. It's only going to be a tier two, but tier two is better than nothing. Craft up three of you. I can't put any points into robotics to get tier threes. It's the next one on the list, but it's going to have to wait a little bit. I want my DD girl, which means I need to get my steel out of you. Yeah, it definitely goes into the drone. That's all good. It's going to take a little bit of time to craft up the sensors, but as soon as that's done, you. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. My little friend who's always been beside me, not Sammy, the one who actually always helps me, not watches me die, you big sledgehammer bitch. Oh, Dede, I'm so excited to have you back. So excited. Oh, you're gagging. You're gagging. I'm too duct tape short and I can't make any more because I'm out of glue. Uh, right, hold on a second. You, I've got plenty of murky waters. I needed those for frothies, but this is kind of more pressing for the moment, I think. Well, that eats my glass jars, doesn't it? Okay, I don't want to wait 20 minutes for it either. So let's just go like, I only need like 10, I think, for the moment. You can go there. I'll finish off the gas after you're done. How many do I need? I needed two right now. Please go faster. Please go faster. Who would have thought a little bit of white sticky stuff was all that was sent between me and my best friend, Dee Dee? Come on. There we go. Finally, craft up. You're going to take two and a half minutes, but I'd wait an eternity for you, DD. I've waited for you before, and I'll wait for you again. That's while I'm here. You can have that. You can craft up some more steel for me. I'll also chuck in whatever extra iron I've got, of which there is not much. All right, I thought I had more iron than that, but I guess none. Still plenty of room for clay as well, and plenty left over. Really, it's just iron. It's the main, like, hurdle there. I never have enough. As much as I'd love to get Medic DD up and going, I'm going to take the cargo mod instead. Extra storage space, always handy. Plus, I've got all the medical supplies on my hotbar already. Another minute for you. I'll just, um, you know what? I'm just going to take a moment. Just take a moment to appreciate the good things in life. Grab myself a coffee because I already have got the frothies. Where's the sun? I'm going to go, you know what? Up the top here. Up on top of my little... Not really a balcony, I suppose, but somewhere nice to kick up a banana lounge. Take off your pants and your jacket and treat yourself to a coffee. Cheers, lads. Get it in ya. Actually, these hot plants look like they're done. They are done. I don't think everything's done yet. The super corn is. All right, well, I'm not going to waste any time on that then. You give me the knife for harvesting because it just swings up a little bit faster. Take all of you. Give, 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 give. My frothy production can never sleep. I always need all of it. Another 25 frothies. Remember, rock and roll. You're going to need plenty more fuel though. Here is about half an hour's worth. That'll do nicely. Whip you up. Oh, good, 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 good. Love to bloody see it. Take all of you out of them and chuck the glue away. I will need to turn it into duct tape at some point, but that is a future me problem. The gas can come with me because my motorcycle needs it. Deeds. Oh, Deeds is red of the rock and roll. I've missed you so much, my little fluttery friend. You, chuck you down. <laughs> Power up complete. Oh, oh, I'm so happy to have you back, Deedee, Dee, Pat. Pat and the biggest of scritches and patches. You can have... Oh, wait, hang on. I need to take it back. Sorry. I know you'll always be there for me, Deeds. Here is some pockets for you because I know girls love pockets. There you go. Do you love me even more now? I hope you bloody do. Well, there's another word for that is I turned you on. I sure as shit did. Look at all you've got, DD. Shit, yes. But before I go, I'll quickly harvest up the super corn as well because I think this will be the last harvest that I need before I can make this entire U-shape out here. All super corns. How many seeds are I going to do? 11. What was it again? It's 8, 16, 19. I think it was. So I need another... Eight out of you. I can make 23. Look at that. We're going to have all that we need after all that work and all that planning and all that praying to the grainy gods. Come over here, please, Eddie. You're just in the way of me crops. I'm finally going to have what I've been yearning for for so long. Even with max level look off the land, it's taken many, many days to get here. Boom. Done. Look at it all. So good. We finally have a crop of usable super corns. Does that mean I can, like, make some better stuff now? Learning elixirs. I can make two of you. Here's some extra fuel. Chuck that in there. Uh, sure. Make that. 
If I just search like grandpa's, yeah, there we go. I can make some awesome sauce as well. I'm lacking on honey. That's not surprising. Moonshine. Doesn't moonshine give me some really good stats for melee, but only for a short period of time? Do I even have one of those already? It'll be in food, I think. Let's use my wonderful search bar. Moonshine. That's how you spell that. There you go. Nothing in you. And nothing in you. I'll keep on a lookout for it because I think it does. Is it even better than Froffy's again? I'm going to find some. I'm going to find some and find out. That's going to have to wait till later. I've got time in the day. Come on, DD. We're going on an adventure. <gasps> oh, no. What have I done, though? I've I've left her lacking. I've left her lacking. I need the purple dice. Sorry, Orgun. Deeds. How will anyone know that you're my best friend? Oh, sure. Come here. Me in a box like your other old things. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't see where I am. There's bears and dogs and all sorts of badness. Holy shit. Of course, I'm going to to jump off my motorcycle to figure out what to do with deeds. A bunch of zombie bears shows up. That was a fucking heart attack and a half. Well, got away with that one. Modify you. Here you go, DD. You're now well and truly mine. Oh, God. I don't think my heart rate's going to drop below 250 anytime soon. Seeing that waddling ball sack of death coming over. Yeah, all the good feelings I got from having DD immediately evaporated. Uh, while I'm here as well, actually, you... Refuel you and chuck you into there and lock you in. Nice. We're starting to get our life in order. I don't think those zombie bears and dogs will ever despawn. I think they're just there forever now until I can figure out how to kill them. Look at them all. We're lousy with bears. I'm back in the winter to try and search, I think, for something Shotgun Messiah related. I do want to find those knuckle parts, and I haven't had a real good ring of it lately. So that's what I'm here to try and find. But just thinking about that one moment just then, that wandering horde of zombie dogs and zombie bears, that's an... Oh, jeez, Flops, you scared the dick out of me. That's an insta-death horde. Even now, even with all the things i got going on, if that shows up when I'm, like, trapped somewhere or when I least suspect it and it gets me trapped and actually has its way with me, that's insta-death. I can't fight my way out of that. It's all over whatever colored, colored rover you want. That's just a bad time. Where am I going to find... That's the crack we've already been through. Where am I going to find anything Shotgun Messiah related? It doesn't have to be a big store. I just want those Shotgun Messiah crates. That, I think, is my best option. Oh, there's a big building just there. And a Crackerbook HQ that actually, weirdly enough, is utterly terrible for actually getting books out of. But if you're there, it means there's a sewer just next to it, which I think from memory might have a couple of Crackerbook boxes at the very end of it. I'm not sure, but it's worth a gander. Can't deeds. I know you're fly, but we're going underground. Come with me and watch my back. It's all looking pretty ominous down here. I know most of the zombies are hiding out on the other side of the platform, but there should also be a copper. Yeah, there he is. All right, you know what? It's a reasonably small POI. It should be able to get through pretty quickly. So let's pop a froth and let's get going. In we go. Missed it. Somehow completely whiffed it. Thank you for your vote of confidence there, DD. You got a bad feeling about it because I'm whipping out me fists. Can't really say I blame you, though. <laughs> I didn't realize you guys would be right here, but all right, fair enough. Can I finish you? Good. Finish you two. All right, there's going to be a pretty bad use holding at one of these holes down here, but I'll oh, do it as best I can. Yeah, I heard someone coming up behind me. Keep your ears peeled. DD, do something, please. You're just wandering and filming me. You, go down. Is that a good spot for you? Good enough. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Sammy and Woodle back at it again. I'd love to be able to give DD like a stun, not a stun baton, but like a stun ability, a stun gun or something. She's got these little claws here. Just like walk up to a couple of zombies, or in your case, fly up and give them a little tickle. Make her a bit more helpful in offensive situations that would be a wonderful thing but i think i'm asking way too much out of her for that one i think it just suit her really nicely she's going to do it rarely and not all the time although in fairness the stun buttons are worthless already because they can't stun all the time but just like one out of five zombies give them a little tickle give them a little stun that'd be so good I've got 30 seconds left on my frothy, which means I'm going to have to kind of bypass all the loot. Shotgun Messiah box. My gut feeling was right. And get straight on into the vents in here to ruin every... Oh, God. Ruin everyone's day. Ow. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. You. Shit. Fuck. You followed me way too quick. I'm going to chuck down Sammy. You piss off. You. Sammy, get in there, please. There you go. Guard the door. You let everyone through, Sammy. Get it together, please. Look. Oh, come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. 
It's a bloody choke point. You had to look one direction and you couldn't even do that for me. Though I think with you dead, that's everyone down here. I bloody hope so at least. That did not go well at all. Yeah, there's the end of it. The ladder that takes me up into the overpass. Okay, we're fine. Someone upstairs is mad, but I do not care. Give me your rotten flesh. You are just a slab of meat to me. I'm using you for your body. I'll take you. I'll take you. Nothing else. All right. Let's go get that shotgun messiah box and see what it's going to give me. Huh? Ah, like that. Loot and gogs are on. The game heard me talking about stunning, not stun battens, but tried to give it to me anyway. That's not what I needed, game. Where the hell are all the knuckle parts? Someone's knocking on me door. Hello? Who's there? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I recognize you from dinner. Gee, that is a... Yeah, that's definitely a view. Remember what I was saying about how somehow she's more exposed than she used to be? Let that be the proof in the very obvious pudding. Don't stick any of your fingers in that, though, please. You can sell that. I'll take you. Little peckish. I'll just eat you now. Yeah, right. Okay. Open the door and was met with a view that wasn't exactly what I was planning on. Wasn't there somewhere in this little garden here above the subway? Wasn't there a little, like, vent or something that leads down to, like, a secret stash? <gasps> <gasps> nope, 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 absolutely not. Holy God. Oh, I've got like an adrenaline rush pumping through me brain. Everything's gone foggy. Puckerage, absolute puckerage. I didn't just absorb my seat cushion. I've also sucked my way down into my own bloody basement. Oh my God. Nah, there's two of them. Nah, there's two of them. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm leaving. I don't know where that little vent was. It was definitely a secret stash. Although, actually, maybe I can go the other way. Maybe I can find the underside of it and go in where the bears can't get me. Make sure I close that behind me. Try and keep out the draft of both teeth and claws. Oh, that was awful. That was awful. So it's got to be, like, in here somewhere, right? Oh, there we go. Do you, reckon, do you reckon I can build up into that? Let's find out. You, I'll grab some ladders. That one. Maybe this is the way you're supposed to go and get into here. Just like you, skip every second block all the way up to here. Lovely. Okay, this is definitely the way you're supposed to do it. Break you. Looting dogs are still on. Four. A magnum schematic. All right, not the worst thing I've ever found in the world. I think... I don't know, has the ship sailed on finding the knuckle parts? Because I just haven't seen a glimpse of them in so freaking long. Do they even exist anymore? Not especially certain. At least the sun has come out while I was down in the caves. I can now see a little bit better. We'll keep on exploring. Even if I find somewhere that's looking very tempting that I can't raid right now, which given I've got an hour until night time, probably is the case, I can mark it up for a later time. <gasps> the clock tower. The clock tower, my old and very favorite home. Oh, there's a shotgun beside just next to it. So potentially there is a weapons bag at the tippy top of the tower. That could, it could be. It could be. Maybe my, my uh, lives of my past are looking out for me and leaving little nuggets of greatness for me. All the way up. Get yourself nice and dizzy. The frame rate struggling again. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. You still don't bong, though, which always makes me upset. What? I completely missed the jump. Oh, yeah, someone's coming for me. Someone's coming for me. DD did give me the heads up, and it sounds like a copper. Easy. Creep on through, and up we go. Got to get myself trapped in here if I'm not careful. Come on. There you are. There you are. Weapons bag. What have you got? Just a flat-out magnum. Found a schematic for it a second ago. Now I can use that for a better deal at some point, I hope. Is it just ScoMo? It's just... Oh, it's a feral ScoMo, though. Get your gooey. Sammy, I'm going to need your help with this one, please. I might do anyway. You're too thick. Sammy's too thick to be used in this instance. Never had that experience before, but he is the first one. Good. Nice and dead. Let's get out of here before someone else shows up. I do not want to get trapped. The clock tower is a death trap, as we well know, if you get caught up inside. So this shotgun messiah is going to have to wait for another day. Uh, it's just you. Going to go save waypoint as not a bat, not a knife, not a target, as a gun. There we go. Shock him aside. I'll come back for you later. Okay, that's good. At least there's some potential. I'm going to have to just take that... Uh, or tick, tech, whatever that box another time. The sun has almost set, so it's probably time for me to start at least considering going back home. Savage Country. Doesn't Savage Country have a bunch of gun racks? 
I think it does. I think it does. Oh, this is going to be very dicey because it is night time. Let's get in and... Oh, not get in, actually. Let's get in. Wake everybody up and bring them out the front. Yeah, gun racks. Gun racks. That's what I needed. I can't rage you right now. But I have to kill everyone first. It's about to be night time. Come on, Sammy. I hope you got your bonkin ready. Straight out. Lead them through. Might have been chucking a cheeky froth for good measure. Oh, God, because Sammy didn't do shit. Sammy didn't do shit for the millionth bloody time. Why can I never bloody rely on you? Oh, frames, please. Why is my frame rate about six? It's not making fighting especially easy. Get you down. Get you down as well. Not going to change over to my XP golds. It's not worth a couple of seconds it's going to take. Nice and dead. They're all still wandering around inside. I'll change over now to try and get that next level. Excuse me. Just murder you. Oh, missed the shot. Sammy, help me. There you go, Sammy. Almost. Almost, Sammy. At least you're trying now. You're woken up and you're doing something. <laughs> it's a small step in the right direction, but a step nonetheless. Weirdly, that's like most of this POI cleared out. There is a couple at the back, but it's only really one more big fight. And then... <gasps> and then we're done. Fucking look at that. How you doing, hot star? Three more knuckle parts. See, the... the, the what a Savage Country was calling to me as I drove past. And it delivered to me what I was hoping for. Lovely. Bloody lovely. Well... If things are going that well, let's continue that trend. Go on, Sammy. Nice. I thought I heard... Oh, jeez. I thought I heard another one coming from my left, but I think it was just someone outside. I'll keep my eyes peeled for that one. Make sure no one sneaks up on me. You're still alive. No longer. There's another one in here somewhere. I don't know where. There's a lot of zombies there. Yeah, he's definitely on the other side. Okay, well... Mm, I don't want to fight out in the car park because that's where bears and mountain lions hide out. Got 18 seconds left on the froth. We'll quickly put you in my face. Like you. There we go. All right, just get brave, Josh. Just get brave. Everything's go wrong. Run back to Sammy. Oh, I missed the shot. And I think I woke up some extras going that way around. That was probably a little bit silly. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, don't have a choice now. Just going to have to move and scoot. Get around. Get around. Use all the blockades you can and try and figure out what your best plan of action is. Drop you. Ow, oh, damn it. Clattered me kneecaps. Just keep on moving. Don't get yourself trapped, though. I said, don't get yourself trapped, Josh. You immediately did it. You idiots. I'm going for the car park. I'm going for the car park. That seems to be the much smarter option. Sammy, you're going to get chucked down to the doorway again. Hopefully, you do better this time. Check for bears and mountain lions. My frame rate's still ass. Oh, yeah, there's a few. There's a few. There's a few. Yeah, no, nah, me too, DD, but thanks for putting my feelings into words. That one. And just move. It's faster to run forwards than backwards. Sammy's doing dick all, and I'm freezing my tits off. There was a white just over to my left over there. Yeah, don't want to go that way. All right, just keep running in circles. Treat him like crazy. Treat him like crazy. Get a good shot and then boot it. Easy. You. You. Yes, good, Josh. Good, Josh. Sammy, help me, please. I think I heard that what? Yeah, I did. He's come over to have a gander at what's going on, what all the hubbub is. He's definitely getting himself involved. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Around we go. Sammy, help me out again, please. Lure them over. There you go. Sammy, oh, just out of reach. That's not really your fault. Never mind, Sam. I'll keep my criticisms of you to actually deserve it, in which case it happens reasonably often. That white stuff in the back is a feral white too. Are we Okay. I think we're okay. Oh. Well, I know someone will take care of you because he's only got a foot fetish. There you go, Sammy. I got you. Don't worry, a little noggin about it. You, Luton Gog, still on. Right. That was significantly more intense than I was hoping it would be. Take all of that. Uh, Sammy, uh, Sammy and Didi, even both years, get inside with me before something else shows up. That was, um, that was a bold move by me, but we managed to get away with it. I have done a fair few pretty dark things in my time. That was the closest in a while. That was almost a flat-out suicide mission. Up there with how bad the Grace fight almost went. You, grab that. Anything in you. Just some lead. No, thank you. Check the garbage for some more lead. Also, no, thank you. Pop the rest of the boxes and then escape up onto the roof. Loot and gogs are on. What is my loot level? 128. I don't have any loot candy for it. That's fine. What have you got? Bow parts, not especially great. What have you got? Armor parts. I mean, we've already we've already had the big dub. Oh, and uh, I am breaker. I do have that mud. Uh, it's one of the few that I've got only a couple of, but I got excited there for a second. But who am I kidding? It's already been worthwhile. Tier six is always good because I came here and got the knuckle parts, so we're already onto a flyer. 
Am I missing anything? I don't think so. That's all the boxes. Let's try and get into you then. Very happy. Very happy. Was it three knuckle parts? Absolute time. Last couple of seconds. Got the zeros. Lovely. What have you got for me? Ooh. Oh. Urban Combat Volume 2. Learn how to craft cigars. But ever closer. Although finishing the Urban Combat series, I'm like conditioned to think that's the best thing ever because it means suppressors no longer have a damage penalty. But I mean, my knuckles are already silent. I can't slap on a tin can on the end of it, make them whisper quiet. Read you anyway. Scrap you for the steel, um, the steel armor parts. I'll take the rest of you. Deeds, I need you to hold on a couple of things for me. Here's all your storage. Take the stuff that doesn't stack, like all of that. And you. Yep, yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Look at that. Three more knuckle parts. So happy with that one. Let's go check up on the roof and see what else is here. But I think that's about it. I think we're done and we can start heading home. There's another lure bag just hanging out in the intersection over there. But I'm not getting tempted by that just yet. Does look relatively clear though. Drop down onto the bollard. Chuck a cheeky box out the front so I know I've been in. That one. There you go. Where's my motorcycle? Just out there. Oh, g'day everybody. Just a little crew walking down the street. That's fine. I'll leave you to it. Swing around. Go and grab that bag and then head on back home. What a big day. What a big day it's been. What have you got? What have you got for me? Mm, nothing much. I'll take that. I'll eat you. I'll take the rest. All right, let's get out of here. I can see my towers out there, but please keep your eyes peeled for any zombie bears and dogs. If I had to give it a nice wide berth to where they were and not even run that risk at all. The last thing I need after all of my adventures today is to come a cropper of a big old death ball. Just get there nice and fast and jump up the ladder and get out of harm's way. It's very late at night, but I've been very productive. Good effort by me. That last raid, a bit ambitious, but worked out nicely. So what are we at now? We're at eight. Oh, it's so many more. <laughs> We're only just halfway to steal Nux. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. They're so far away still. After all this work, I'm not even close. I'm not even close to having it done. It sucks. Ooh. It sucks so bad. I gotta keep trying though. I gotta keep pushing. Uh, I think tomorrow, I think the right play is to go back to that shotgun messiah there and see what it's got to offer me. Oh, there's another cheeky another clock tower just there. You never know. It's worth the squeeze. I'll have a look through here as well, see if there's anything worthwhile. And then maybe go and push up into this town. I've got to keep going through the winter biome, though. That's where the loot stage is higher, and I stand a better chance of finding what I need. But so far, things just have not been going especially well. But I now have a DD, and I now have a motorcycle. And that is about... That's about as good as it can get without things being perfect. Although, now I can snuggle up to Deeds. I'm going to say that's perfect. I'm going to say that's perfect. But I'll have to come back and continue to snug with Deeds in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.